because I think Len is too good and plays against er a bayonet Ooh. all the time. But we might. But we're gonna see the bayonet. Yeah. I was gonna say like, Montrose yeah. is a great bayonetta, and Len has a lot of experience against him. But yeah. This is Flightless's choice, and I'm All gonna right. let it go. One of two ways, but we're starting it out. Yeah. Okay, I like the advantage stage so far. Yep. Quickly getting damage where it needs to be, sliding across the stage, but uh, Lennox upon get up, be able to make that back and then some. Flightless kind of showing his hand, showing what kind of approach options he wants, and he tries to fade away, but Len is quick with the uptake. He's not going to let that happen, but we're just throwing out smash attacks right now. Let's go. Yeah. It would have worked. Uh, it didn't, though. Nah. That's all I'm That's saying. That's not really a two-frame. No, it's not. Okay, nice back air. Very good, very good. We're going to get some of that and then waiting for the up smash. Actually, picks wrong this time, and uh, Len has to disengage in that moment. A bit of a rare mistake. I mean, I would say, like, we don't... He's usually right in someone's head, but it is early in the set. And Flightless going to be a... Well, was doing a great job of keeping things mixed up. Falls right into the up smash, though. Yeah, he's definitely keeping Lennox on his toes, and I feel like this is definitely going to be a game of advantage just because of how fast these characters are. Like, you, we've already seen it. Like, they're just dancing around each other, pushing out damage. It's definitely who can stack it up on each other the most. Yeah, but the problem is Flightless is now, uh, I think, making some key, key mistakes that Lennox is able to kind of keep in the back of his mind. Like, okay, he gets a couple hits, but then he goes into the witch time expecting me to mash. And Len's like, okay, if I can if I can continue to, to, to expect that from him, it could be very, very nice for me. Yeah, and definitely if he's able to get a lot of damage, especially even kills off of those miscues, it's definitely going to give him a lead that he can work with. But hopefully he can continue Ooh. to get that off. Oh, I fell too far. Yeah, so drift on that one. So going to have to just take that L. Gonna have to take the stock too in quick succession. Uh, and Len not gonna make it easy whatsoever. Playing a great game of keep away right now. Yeah, really good job of use of like spacing aerials correctly. A lot of the use of laser putting in work. Yeah, the laser, again, like when he's got the lead and he knows that he just has to get some early percent, he can just throw that out. He knows you're forced to make a big committal option to get that approach. And it gives you time to follow up. Yeah whether it's, it leads into something or you can retreat and try something again, whether it's from the top or running back again. Oop, but then forward throw. Okay, that did, uh, that, that is a kill throw, by the way. <laughs> but. All right. Let's see what we can do here at Ledge, moving back to stage. Okay, Ledge. SDI nice out. I mean, yeah, but he fell on the platform and we're seeing him Kind of land on the platform a couple times now without a tech. Uh, but, yeah, he's going to make it so that there's not even a chance of that happening on yeah. his end. He's just going to punish you for that uh, same thing. So, Flightless getting caught there. One got caught on the platform, and then immediately the other got put in that situation and then ultimately yeah. taking the game for Lennox. For sure. So, Blend now up 1-0. Uh, Flightless, this is – it was close. It was close. But yeah. it wasn't as close as he needed it to be, so I'm I'm hoping we see some stronger adjustments uh, out the gate because he cannot afford to get behind in these uh, in these percents in these stocks. Len is playing with the lead so well. No, absolutely not. He's gonna need every bit of every bit that he can get to take the set. Uh, changing the small battlefield now, so similar stage a little different that's true so but i mean still at this point like you can you can die off the top up smash for fox is going to be really good and i mean we need to see flightless get some of those same situations uh, otherwise it might be just a double-edged sword against him yeah we're definitely seeing shades of the first game like quick damage on from flightless but lennox definitely able to work back being careful of his recovery and being aware of what Flyless is trying to throw out to take his stock from him. Wow. Nice little jab there. 
big locks, but yep, gets out of it too. He, he avoids the grab, and now Flightless able to reset. Get the, if he gets the stock here, it could be good. Yeah, but Lennox has other plans. Definitely trying to catch him on ledge and wherever, preventing his recovery. And ooh. ooh. Skating by, but then your time is limited. You're going to be going in with the, I think that was the ABK, and then uh, Len just goes in with a big up smash, knowing that that is a punishable move. Yeah, really good awareness there. Like, you saw the witch time, like, right at the ledge. You put Flightless beneath him, and then he was able to see the recover up and then take advantage once they get back on stage. Okay, Flightless gets these, uh, this stray hit, and now he needs to take the stock. Yeah. This Quickly back up to kill percent. Yeah, we're we're looking pretty pretty dire here. Woo! Uh, even more so now that 150 on Fox it continues to snowball. Len is living so long, and that finally he dies there. But a full stock lead that is definitely well warranted. Flightless has got to turn on the Jets. Now, yep. we'll see if. He can continue to get that chance. He's doing so far with Banana's aerial combos. Yeah, quickly to 75. Good stuff using both of his ABKs in that combo, knowing that he can get kind of the side to side bouncing combo. That's what you want to look for. But these smash attacks continue to be risky. Yep. As does the downer off stage. He'll cut back, but he gets Lennox time to prepare. That extra time starting to pay off. Yep, definitely on top of where Flightless is. Only a matter of time before it takes a stock. Waiting for one key edge guard to seal the deal. A parry and then a dash attack reaction from Len. Another attempt at the uh, the trump, and then we just see a lack of attack. Go time, baby. Flightless now down 2-0. Uh, this is uh, really, really tough because Len once he's in this spot, he's almost unbeatable. And I think he's at the point already. Like, he's just, he's trying to stay in it, but Lennox is outplaying him at every chance he can get. And, okay. Uh, cool. So, Flightless Ryu. Um, Pocket experience. We love it. I don't, I don't know where this even comes from. Actually, I don't even, I don't even think I've heard the myths about this one. Yeah, this is definitely new for me too. This but. is, this has got to go deep into some, some lore somewhere. I don't know where this comes from, but I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna see where this goes. Yeah. Tentatively excited, cautiously optimistic. Flightless, he could probably do something with a heavier character like this, but. Do you know the inputs? Do you know how to do all this stuff? I believe him. I believe he does. Just can you do it that yeah. quickly? Nice little Super Mario Galaxy music to bring a pop will calm end to the set. If Lennox continues on his rampage here. Yeah. Getting some of these anti airs, that's gonna be very important. But the locks nice thing, yeah. like here. Every, er, er, locked on every character, right? He's just like, on, on, on the Bayonetta, I get locked. Really good use of F-Tilt there to negate the focus attack. That's huge. Yeah. Okay, tried to run off the platform, but unable to get anything there. Going to have to reset while Flightless throws out those Shakus. Yeah. Jeez. Oof. All right. Well, it's not looking too good either. Oh, so back to the drawing board? Perhaps. I mean, there is no second chance here. You gotta go with what you got. Oh no. Oh, whoa, what? hello. Hello, all right. And what? Rapid what? jab. What? <laughs> Rapid jab. Why are you focusing? This is Fox. Dang. Focus attack does not mean really anything against Fox. No. He hasn't even, he isn't even able to really use it. He's got four or five moves that you, you could beat that with in an instant. And punish uh, as well. He's Let's leaving himself too open. Lennox taking advantage of every turn. Mm -hmm. Even then, Flyless just cannot downbeat his way to victory. Though he'd be trying. Okay, got something there. All right. Nice uh, way to catch the landing. 
Wave landing at that, right? Like, I mean, obviously, Lin wanted to air dodge, get it quicker landing on platform, but what did you find? But an up air. What? Ah, oh, it went too far. Let's go. Let's go. Lin overextended, overexerted his resources, flightless. This is his chance. Where are you going? You going off stage already? You don't got to do that. No. There's a whole lot of off stage in the last few interactions, and some of it, like, I understand why, but also, like, it didn't really need to happen, as you saw, like, Lennox, oh, unfortunately, as Ding, and, uh, oh, Can he kill? Okay. No, he can't, he can't kill here. He can't yeah. kill here. Nah. Definitely good for Flatless, though, making this game a little more interesting, but the back air. Wait, he's, uh, gonna have his jump, yeah. Oh, no, that's actually, he's dead, he's dead. Nice he trade. Yeah, the trade it. worked out for, for Len in the last moment. Fly was going to get 3 0 but man, the Ryu. Okay. O outside of that little scramble weirdo situation, the spaghetti off stage, uh, Fly was looking all right. Yeah. It was all right. Yep. I would be interested to see a little bit more of the Flightless Ryu in the future.